Okay, so here I have a table with hours of the day down the side and months along the top. And I'm going to highlight the whole of this table, Control C to copy, and then I'm going to move along the side and I'm going to paste this transposed so everything moves around. I'm then going to delete these headings and I'm going to number each of the months. I'm then going to create headings like this and then I'm also going to create headings just above it and I'm going to control shift right arrow control C and control V to move this top row here as well. I'm going to put one in this cell here and then I'm going to put in my formula. So equals the lookup tab. The lookup value is this value here and I'm going to press F4 to put the dollar signs in front of this so that it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to put in a comma and the table array is the whole of this table. So control shift right to select the whole of that table. And then I'm also going to press F4 again so that this table doesn't move around. Then I'm going to put in the columns formula and the column is going to be AE1 to AE1. And on this one, I'm going to press F4. And then on this one, I'm going to cycle through the options on F4 so that the dollar sign is only in front of the one. Then I'm going to close brackets, plus one, comma, and then I'm going to select exact match, close brackets, enter. And then I'm going to click and drag this all the way across. And then I'm just going to check the first few values to make sure that they are all the same as the ones in the top row. And that is fine. I'm then going to highlight the top two rows and I'm going to do Alt, N, D, Enter to create a scatter graph. I'm then going to move this along to the side and I'm going to make it so the chart title is whatever is in this cell. I'm then going to put in the drop down box. So I'm going to do, go to the developer tab, select insert, form controls, and then combo box. I'm going to click and drag to draw the drop down bar. And then I'm going to right click, select format control. Then the input range is whatever I want to show up in the drop down bar. So that is all the months here and then the cell link is the cell I want the drop down bar to change so this value here and then I'm going to change the drop down lines from 8 to 12 so I can see all of my months and I'm going to press OK and it will automatically change to 0 but now if I select any one of these values it will draw a scatter plot for me now I um, the drop down bar will change whatever this value is and every other cell in this row has a formula that is referenced to this cell so it will change every single value in this row and the chart is being drawn using all the values in the top two rows so the chart will change automatically whenever you select one of the months in the drop down bar and now obviously you can format this however you like you can move the drop down bar into the chart and I'm going to change my axis values so they look more like the hours of the day but that is it